Hello everyone, we are Jack State Respiratory students and we are going to show you how to intubate in this video. Uh, my name is Nishana, I will be intubating. My name is Jasmine Molinax and I will be narrating. And my name is Mary Kimbrough and I'm going to be helping assist in the intubation. Here are our intubation supplies. As you see, we have gloves before we intubate. We have our ET tube, which is endotracheal tube. We have our size seven and a half. We have a size eight, which is bigger, and a size smaller, and a seven. We also have our syringe, so we can put air into our cuff after we intubate. You always test the cuff to make sure that it works. We'll take the air out before we intubate. Next, we have our blades and handle. We have our Macintosh blade here. You always test the light before intubating. And then we have our Miller blade, which is our preferred for this intubation. Both lights work, so those are ready. Next, we have our CO2 detector. Changing color means that the tube is in the lungs. This is what we do before we get an x-ray. Next, we have our lube. We just put this on the tube to make sure that it doesn't break the patient's vocal cords or epiglottis going down. Next, we have our tape, which we are going to make our tube holders out of. And this is our tube holder. In order to put our tube in, we have a stylet. It helps with the shape so that way it stays in place and you do not pull the tube out. Once you intubate, you'll just pull the stylet out. So what I'm doing here is I'm making our ET tube holder out of tape. So if you don't have one of the fancy tube holders, you have to make it with tape. So first we pull out the tape. You want a long piece because you're going to put this around the patient's neck and wrap it around the tube from the left and the right side of the tube. Next, we are going to cut it right here. And then what I'm going to do next is when we put this behind the patient's head, we don't want it to stick to the neck and pull. So I'm going to cut a little strip and put it right here just for some neck support. It helps with skin breakdown and hair pulling and skin pulling. Going to lay it down. Thank you. Okay, right here. That's how you make a homemade tube holder. We have our tube holder made and our patient sedated. Now we are ready to intubate. We are going to lower the bed and remove the pillow out from behind the patient. Next, we are going to adjust the bed to the height of our intubator. While the intubator adjusts the bed to their height, we are going to plug up the bamboo bag and suction the patient. Next, we give 100% O2 by the Ambu bag. Let the intubator prepare to get ready. We will start intubating when she is ready. When the intubator is ready, she will announce it and we will start intubation. Here you see the head is back and the blade is inserted so you can see the vocal cords. The Miller blade lifts the epiglottis and the blade goes down into the vocal cords. And when we give the oxygen via the Ambu bag, we put the CO2 detector, we see lung movement. So we know that the tube is in the right place. Now we will get our tube holder and secure our tube while the intubator is giving 100% O2. With a tape tube holder, we make sure we go over the ears. Okay. 
and continue to take our tape and twist it around the tube. Go ahead and fold that. Okay, now we're gonna fold it and make a tab. So when we pull the tape off to extubate, it's easy to find the tab. Next, we're going to go to the other side and secure the tape on both sides of the patient's head so that way it does not go anywhere. The same directions apply here. It goes over the patient's ear and wrapped around the tube. While we are doing this, since we are covering up our measurements, we take note of where it is at the lip line, and then we document our tube size. So here we have a seven, a seven and a half, 24 at the lips. We are going to tap the end of this piece of the tape as well as we did as the other side. And now, next we are going to initial the tape, date the tape, and put our measurements on the tape. So now that the tube is taped down, we have our initials, the date, where our ET is at the lip line, and our ETT tube size. You see it is not cutting the lips, it is wrapped around on both sides and over the patient's ear to be comfortable. Next, we will suction the patient's mouth while still giving 100% O2 and listen for breath sounds. Since this is mannequin, we can see the lungs moving, but on a real patient, you listen for breath sounds and then you order an X, you ask the doctor to order an X-ray.